welcome to 3DR CNC. In this video, we're going to continue to upgrade this Ender 3. And in the, in the last one, we updated the firmware. So now we can change uh, the settings we need to. In this video, we're going to replace uh, the Y axis V-slot rulers with a linear rail because it's wobbly and really hard to adjust. So let's get started with that. You know, don't need that much uh, uh, hardware for this upgrade. Uh, you need to print this adapter I uh, made and you can download that on Thingiverse and print it before you do this. Also two belt clamps, 4M3 by 12, 4M5 by 12, 4M3 by 8 and 4 M5 lock nuts and 4 uh, M3 lock nuts. Uh, also, you need a 300 millimeter long uh, uh, MGN 12, uh, 12H uh, linear ray. But that's it, so let's get started. So, we need some more M3 by 8 and some M3 T nuts to attach the linear rail to the Y axis rail right here. First, we'll have to remove the belt. So, you have to unscrew all of the knobs of the belt, get loose, and then I'll be back and show you what to do next. Now, the bed is off, so now you can go ahead and remove uh, this idler right here and remove the belt you don't have to push it through this center it will go there anyway yes like that you can take this off like that and then on this part all of this need to be flipped so uh, this bolt goes the other way around then the nut and two bearings and that and you just put the uh, stepper motor back there on the other side of this bracket so the gear is where the motor is now so you use the existing brackets for that we need to put on the linear rail so uh, I use some uh, M3 bolts and M3 T-nuts. There you can put them in uh, every hole, but uh, I uh, did it in every second. So now you can see how this goes together with this part on there. But before we do that, we actually need to attach the belt with these two clamps.
y-axis plate and uh, as I said before for M5 by 12 millimeter bolts that go into the nuts on uh, in the printer part so just screw those down and then everything is complete except, uh, except you need to attach the heat pad you should also test to see if it slides smoother and my nuts so were all good lay the bed in place with the springs on all four corners and then uh, just push it down and turn the uh, wheels uh, you should compress them uh, quite a bit because that makes uh, it so they don't come loose when you're printing and I'll make a video on that and bed leveling later that you can go watch if that has um, released yet uh, now, because uh, we have raised the bed quite uh, a bit um, uh, with this printed part and the linear array, we need to re-level the bed, but I won't show you how to do that in this video, but I'll make one uh, for bed leveling later. And al uh, also, uh, because we flipped the y-axis motor, we need to uh, reverse it, because otherwise it will go the wrong way. And to do that, you can either just uh, remove the y-axis connector uh, and then the white part that it goes into, uh, you can move that with uh, pliers and turn it around and put the connector in the other way. Or if you've uh, upgraded the firmware like I have, you can also uh, just uh, change the stepper motor direction. Uh, from uh, through uh, to false or the other way around 